Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Cam Makachi again. Today I bring you a follow-up video, 5 licks that changed my playing instantly. As I say again, this video follows up from the 5 licks guaranteed to get you out of a plateau. Click on that little card there to check it out, and like and subscribe to get more content. But in the meantime, let's check out these licks. Okay, I'm really throwing you in at the deep end with this first one. Uh, it's basically a Paul Gilbert string skipping lick, a talk ages ago, I taught it years ago. What I'm starting off with here is in essence is a D major str string skipping shape. Then it goes to diminish. Then it goes to E minor. End it on a full step bend there. Now a really cool part I like to mix in here is a really interesting sort of octave lick here. So to play the lick at a faster speed. Mix them up with different shape. There we go. Okay, lick two is a lot of fun. It is a Steve Vai sweet picking lick. With your own sort of choice on how to finish it, but in essence, the shape is a fifth, a fifth chord. Should be used to this shape if you're into rock music. But in this case, we're in the key of C sharp minor and we're doing 9th fret E string, 11th fret A string, 13th fret D string, and then we're sweeping through to this, which is 11th fret G string, 12th fret B string, 14th fret high E string. And we're sweeping through all in one motion as an arpeggio. And the real challenge here is making sure your index finger goes from the 9th fret here, through the shape, and then to the G string really quickly. It's always worth practicing so you get to that point. It's a point to look forward to there. Now once we've reached the 14th fret of the E string, go to the 11th fret, 12th fret of the B string, then we've got 11th fret, uh, sorry, 13th fret of the G string. Then we go to, then we go to the 11th fret of the D string. And then back to the 13th fret of the G string. And this gives you the option to do loads of things. You can slide back through into different scale shape. I slid to the uh, 6th fret of the G string. You can do whatever you want here, but it also it teaches you to slide and connect different shapes. So I'll just give you a little idea of what I do, and I'll leave you with that one. So... There you go. Okay, lick three, well, it isn't really a lick, it's more of a technique. And I think it's so overlooked on YouTube and overall in the guitar community, and that is finger flattening. We're sticking in the minor pentatonic scale for this, just to prove a point. And for the sake of variety, I'm in B minor. If you want to throw the blues in, uh, blues note in, you can. And what I find really cool with this is it's basically this finger flattening idea. That kind of idea. I just use hybrid picking there to accentuate it. Very common in blues phrasing. It's a 
great way of connecting um, the various parts of the scale, but you can use it in all sorts of places. Taught that lick a little while ago. That's a, that's a Zach Wilde thing there. Then you can do it on the index finger here. Then you can connect it to lick one there. There we go. <laughs> okay, after having mentioned Zach Wilde in passing, I bring you a repetitive lick that's really, really useful, even if you don't use it or depend on it. Uh, and it's in essence a Zach Wilde pentatonic repetitive lick. And uh, it's a really, really cool idea. And if you guys watch my five ways to get out of my five licks guaranteed to get you out of a plateau, it will go really, really well with the licks in those in that video. So definitely check it out. And what's really cool with this is it shows you not only how to alternate pick, it's just literally down, up, down, up. Where I start on an upstroke, that's because I'm left-handed. But... There you go, that's the next step ahead where you do the whole no more tears thing. And then you can combine it with a lot wider shapes. And then you can even keep it within the pentatonic scale. That's a... Uh, the basic, the basic minor pentatonic shape, but you're extending your little finger up uh, two frets from the highest note in the scale. Then you can bend up to it. Ask Sam Coulson, he knows all about these licks. Okay, for this last part of the video, I'm going to show you my secret to building speed generally. It is pentatonic triplets inspired by Randy Rhodes. Or if you want to play Chinatown by Thin Lizzy, it's just the position above. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, well, a lot of people criticise me when I play pentatonic licks for not using my little finger, which is completely untrue. I use it all the time, but sometimes it can be a bit of an illusion. On camera, it still looks like I'm using my ring finger there, despite appearances. But with pentatonic stuff, I use my ring finger for two reasons. Uh, one, it's more comfortable, and also, secondly, I've got extended range. With my little finger, I can extend the positions out. And if you saw the intro to the last video, uh, five licks guaranteed to get you out of a plateau, which I cannot stress enough. Please watch it. It's dead good and really useful. Uh, there's a really cool part in it at the beginning where I play... I extend the position out. And what you can do with this lick, um, with the pentatonic triplets, is you can either go through the whole scale... ...really, really quickly, like I did, or you can do this, which is really, really cool. You can either turn it into a repetitive sequence to build tension in a solo, which is really, really cool. Uh, Randy Rhodes does it in Mr. Crowley. And then it combines it with loads of different scale ideas. You can even extend the position out with your little finger and abandon the traditional shape altogether and connect two up. So you can do this. It's a, it's a totally and utterly free thing to use. You can even connect positions up.
There we go, I digress. That's my secret, pentatonic triplets. There we go. Thank you very much for watching this video, you guys. Please check out some of my other lessons on the channel. I'm sure you'll find it very, very useful if you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe, as I say again. See you again. Cam signing off.